that this video demonstrates how I can work with uh, elevation grid data. Um, in my example, I have some points, these red ones, and from these points uh, with the elevation grid node uh, surface is calculated. This is the green one. Say this is uh, my garden. And now I want to do some investigation on this garden. I start with a little script. And the result of the script uh, is first a grid of my garden. This is a point cloud. I hide the old data. So this is the garden and the other one is a plane. And now I have a point cloud composer and I use it to compose new point clouds from these two one. So first what we have uh, here uh, I can use a formula uh, a minus half of b and a and b are two point clouds and these are the point cloud a is uh, my garden and point cloud b is the grid of the plane and now I calculate this term so I say update on change 2 and now I run an update and the result is this green point uh, this uh, yellow uh, point cloud then it's a minu minus the half of uh, the green one of the, of the plane. So I can now also use some predefined formulas. I hide these two ones. And what are predefined formulas? For example, Ten times the sinus of B. It's and I switch here to two. So okay, you see here the the sinus curve, and because B is uh, the grid of the plane that is really a simple sinus curve. The next example is uh, give me all points of A with Z value greater than uh, 2 and they so should be printed with a height 10. Let's see, this is a reference cube which has the height 10 and you see here this area are the parts of A which are greater than 10, uh, greater than uh, 2, these are these uh, peaks. Okay, then the next predefined formula is this one. This means A should be greater than 1 and less than 2 and the resulting height should be B. So, in 
this uh, QVC, all the points belong to the B plane. And here in the top view, we see these are the areas where A is between 1 and 2. So, one more. I can check where is A greater than B. Once again, I unhide B and we see this is A should be greater than B. This is exactly this area here. So, and the last uh, of a predefined formula is uh, the double of A. So once more, you can see it here, the yellow is twice the green cloud. So at the end, for any expression we have calculated, there is a point cloud with exactly the points of this cloud and the point cloud composer has uh, always the last shape which was calculated but the other shapes are still available and I can unhide them and see all the expressions. So now I can use uh, these clouds in my cloud composer for the next iteration and the cloud composer has the possibility to combine three point clouds A, B and C. Uh, it can calculate given formulas here. These are some test formulas and um, it also can use a special uh, formula which I can write in the text uh, window.